Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to set up Borderlands for split screen on the PC. Yeah, so if you already searched up, you know, a little bit, you probably found this. This is basically the first thing you'll find as a guide. But it's just a guide. There's no video. It's not in-depth. And for some of you, it might be hard to follow. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do everything here. So first up, you got to make sure your PC can run it, obviously. So if you can run Borderlands, then that should be good. Okay, so next you want to get DXWND. Search it up. Go to the home page. Right here, go to download. Go to latest field. Get their latest one. Shouldn't really matter. Whether you get the latest one, older one, they should all work perfectly. Okay, now it's done. Open it. Extract this to basically the default place, wherever you want it to. And go to computer downloads. It should be like V version some like version something. D X W N D. And now you don't want to use this right now. Not yet. Not just yet. Next, you want to get Auto Window Manager. Okay, so search that up. This helps it so it can like, you can rearrange the screen so it's like split screen, you know. You open that up, when it's done, wait for it, run it, install it, next, 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 next. Alright, skip registration, that's just if you want to like register it. And leave it minimized, just forget about it for now. And then if you're using PS3 remotes, you will want to get this program or you'll get um, DS3 tool. Um, doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. I prefer DS3 tool, you might prefer Xbox 360 Ace. If you're just using two Xbox 360 controllers, then you don't have to download any other programs. And now going on to this part, you need to copy this code into a file. Just control C for there into a file located in documents my games borderlands willow game config and willow input any now you you'll see this big big file like a bunch of stuff scroll to the place where it says configuration and now if um you just installed borderlands and you, you know you played it this will be blank because you haven't set it up but under configuration, you want to paste that entire code that's there. So like, it'll look, it'll look like this basically. So under configuration, you co you get this, you copy it, you paste it, press enter once. So there's like another space here, and save it. Okay, now that you're done that, now we're almost ready. So open up this dxwnd and it'll be like this so you, you look here and you're like oh where's borderlands but the thing is it's not here for borderlands you get you need to add now add and you need to find the path where borderlands is so for me here i'll just go back to a computer if you have it on steam it'll be in uh, c either program file x86 if you have it if you don't have x86 it'll just be in program files go in there look for steam click steam steam apps common borderlands binaries borderlands exe okay so now that we have that you want to click direct x9 if you just click automatic it won't work for you i've tried it like it might work for you but i've tried it and i i forgot to click dx9 it doesn't even say in the tutorial to, to, to check dx9 but um I did automatic, could not get it to open, so just do that. And just call it Borderlands. Doesn't matter. This part's not necessary. Okay. Now, if you go to the bottom, it'll be Borderlands. So, um, run this. Just click run. It'll log on to... It'll, if, you, if you're not in Steam, it'll ask you to log on to Steam. It'll be Borderlands. It'll open up. Now, this part... <laughs> Just wait for it to open up. This part you gotta be careful because 
You see, it's all about the resolution of the game that you're running in. If you are running the game in, like, what kind of monitor do you have? It's not going to be, like, split screen, like, straight down the middle of the monitor. Or it's not going to be directly across. It's going to be, like, like, a window here and, like, a window here. Now, it's simple enough if you just want there to be a window here and a window here. That's easy. But I'll show you how to make it even better. So, you're not going to be able to play, like, full screen across. Yeah, skip that. What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Okay, I need to use the remote, obviously. Game options. Now, your resolution, you probably want to use this resolution. No, you probably... Uh, like, for me... Um... <laughs> I use this resolution on a 1080p monitor because it works for me good. It works good for me. So yeah. Now I quit the game. And if you have a lower than um, like a 920 by 1080p monitor, you might want to choose a different resolution. It just depends on like how big your monitor is, I guess. See, that's how big the game will be. No, I don't want it to be that big. And then now you want to open. Okay, now you want to put this. Right click it. Alignment top right. So that is on the top right. And now test if it works with your first remote. If it works with your first remote, then you're good. Then you just want to open up another Borderlands and test if it works with the other remote. So wait for it to open. Just takes a second. Okay, that, that works with that remote, and if you test your second remote, it shouldn't work. Okay, now, open up another Borderlands. Now, this is all about, this is the tricky part. You might fail here. Make sure, when this window pops up, click this Borderlands rapidly. Click it, click it, make sure it's on. And if it's on, then stop clicking, stop clicking. When this goes to the intro, stop clicking. Now, this remote should still be working. All right, this remote's working. So now, wait and see if the other window's working. That's the thing, that's the tricky part. Sometimes it won't work, It like, then you need to restart. It's all about timing. Honestly, it's pretty finicky, and my dog is barking, so shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the tricky part. Shh. And now test it with your second remote. If it's working perfectly fine, shut up. Sorry. Go to land game. Um, one person will be the host. Doesn't matter what it's called. Poop is a good name. Select your character. If you don't already have a character, just start with a new character. Or you might want to start with a character you've already made. Now the other person will join game, and you should, like in land game, join it. You should see the game. Now join it. No big deal there. And it kind of lagged out. Sometimes that might happen, but it should go back to normal. Should, I repeat. Should. And now this game can this this split screen can be very taxing on your computer because it's basically like double the computing, double everything, you know, double the graphics, double computing. So if you don't have a really high end computer, you, you might want to turn the graphics sound down to like low and medium, etc. So yeah, see it worked. Now select your character for the second person, and r one person gets ready, other person the host, play game. So at that point you're good. I have the DLC enabled. I'm in Jacob's Cove. Psh. Yeah. So wait for it to load up. And yeah, you should be able to get pretty good FPS on this. I don't know if I'm gonna begin good FPS right now because I'm recording in Fraps and I don't know if it's recording it twice or whatever. So yeah. You should be in the game, wherever you are in the game. 
both players can play. You just have to wait for the textures to load, I guess. Unless you're in low settings. Yeah, see the textures just popped in there. Now, I'm getting low frame rate right? because, you know. Yeah. And it should be good. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. If you can't get it working, you can challenge your friends to a duel. You can kick his ass, whatever the frick you want. Yeah. See ya guys. Hope this was helpful. If you want more tutorials, etc., feel free to subscribe for more. <clears throat> feel free to subscribe for more Minecraft videos, tutorials, gameplay, and see ya.